trying to fix double chin is one of the problems we come across as a retoucher. So here you can fix extreme case like this and also a minor case like this. So I did the job for a client and after I delivered the job, the client asked me to remove the double chin on the image. So that's why I decided to make this video. Now for minor case like this image, you can just use this software right here, a photo software and just scroll all the way down under these blemishes and you're going to see double chin right here. So all you have to do is move this double chin slider right here. I'm just going to remove the double chin for you automatically. So if I just zoom in, you are going to see the before and the after. So this is the before and the after like that. But if you are not comfortable or you are not okay with this software, you can do the same thing inside of Photoshop. So let me show you how you can do that in Photoshop right now. So I'm just going to come to my Photoshop and just duplicate the layer. Now I'm going to be using Dodger Bond to fix this. So I'll come to my action right here. I click on Tillers Dodger and Bond. Or you can use any Dodger Bond action you have. It's going to work. So just zoom in. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to match the luminosity. That is the brightness and lightness of this jaw right here to make it match to remove the double chain. Alright, so this is one way you can do it. I'm going to show you another way which you can actually use to remove a stream situation like this. So, the first way is the Dodger Bond method. So, once you run any Dodger Bond action you have and you want to bond those parts that are looking too bright right there under the jaw. So, pick a normal brush tool, make sure your flow is set to 2 or 3% and just bond those bright parts like that. In the process of bonding it, you are going to fix that double chain right there. Alright, now let's see the before and after. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity like so. After you do your dodge and burn and you feel it's not looking okay the way you want, just create the stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Once you create the stamp visible layer, now after that, just create a focus separation layer. So I'm going to look at focus separation 8 bits because this image is 8 bits. And I'm just going to use a radius of about 6.4. I click on OK. Now I'm going to pick my close stamp tool. Make sure my high frequency copy layer is selected, which is this first one right here. And just sample and just paint on those lines right there under the jaw. Just to remove them a bit like this. And this time, I'm just going to come to my brush here layer. Pick my mixer brush tool. Hide my high texture layer right here. And just use my mixer brush to paint on that line right there just to remove it like so I'm just group everything i did so you can actually see the before and after this is the before and this is the after the before and the after you can see the double chin is no longer there the before and the after so that's one way you can actually fix the double chin so let me show you another way you can do it so just duplicate the layer by ctrl j and after you duplicate the layer just pick on any selection to right here so i'm going to click in this polygonal lasso to right here and just make a selection of the double chain like so. All right. Just like that. And just right click and click on feather right here. And just feather with the results of 10 and click on OK. Now after that, just duplicate this selection by pressing on Ctrl J. And duplicate it again by pressing on Ctrl J again. So we duplicated the selection twice. All right. So. Just click on this first layer right here, which is this layer to copy. Hold alternate and once that clipping mask icon show, just click on it and it's going to clip layer to copy to layer two right here. Or you can just right click on layer to copy, which is this first layer right here and just click on create clipping mask right here. And just going to clip on this layer below like that. Now after that, just press your control T to bring your transform tool and just right click and just click on warp right here. Once you click on warp, just move this place up like this to move the double chain inside like this just like that All right so just click on ok now if i just group everything we did you can see we actually remove that double chain right there so this is the before and this is the after and you can just create a stamp visible by using ctrl shift alternate e and just modify it to make it look real so come to your filter right here click on liquify right here and after that just zoom in and with your four warp to select it you can just push in this part right here inside like this just to make it look realistic so the before and the after and also you can just click on this face icon right here and just move it the way you want just like that and click on ok all right now let me just go by everything so you can see the before and after so this is the before 
and the after. So this is how you can easily fix double chain. Now for a strip situation like this, we are going to be using the same method we used last. So just duplicate the layer by pressing on Ctrl J and just pick your polygonal lasso tool and just select the double chain you want to fix like that. All right, so just make a selection like this. After making the selection, just right click and click on feather and just use a feather radius of 10. Click on OK. Now just duplicate the selection twice by pressing on Ctrl J, Ctrl J and duplicate it twice. Now hold the alternate and just hover in the middle between this layer 2 and layer 2 copy and just press alternate until that clipping mask icon show and just click on it and just going to clip layer 2 copy to layer 2 right here. And after that, just press on Ctrl T to bring your transform tool. Now right click. And just click on warp right here and just move it up like this just the way we did for the first one so just move it up like so okay now i'll click on okay since this situation is really extreme i'm going to be doing it twice so after i do that i'm just going to create another stamp visible layer by pressing on ctrl shift alternate e and just make a selection of the chain again because this is an extreme situation so you have to take extreme measures so i'm going to do it twice like this and the same thing right click and just feather it once i feather it radius of about 10 click on ok duplicate the layer twice by pressing on ctrl j ctrl j and just add a clipping mask like this bring back your transform tool by pressing on ctrl t and just right click again and just click on warp and just move it up a little bit like this for extreme cases like so okay now I feel it's looking good like this. I'm going to click on OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to merge all the layers, everything I did, just like this. And just come to my filter right here, come to my liquify. I just trying to fix it and make it look more realistic. So I come to this face right here and just move the face inside a little bit like this. Just to make it look more realistic. I click on my forward warp tool and just try to just make everything blend just like so and i'll click on ok now next i'm going to do i'm going to come to my action right here click on focus separation 8 bit and just try and just smoothen it out to make it look more realistic just like that now i'm just going to zoom in pick my close thumb tool and just try to fix this place right here so i'm going to sample and just fix this place right here just to remove those lines right there like so all right so i feel it's looking good like this now next i'm going to do i'm just going to run my dodge and burn again just use my dodge and burn to even out the luminosity right there so i'll click on my dodge and just move this dodge right here and just dodge this particular place right here just to brighten it up a little bit to make it look more better like so all right and i'm just going to count my burn and just burn this place right here because I feel it's looking too bright. Okay. Now I'm just going to come to my dodge and just dodge this particular place right here. Just to make everything blend. Alright, so I'm just going to group everything and so I can show you the before and after of what we just did. So this is the before and this is the after. Also, for this image right here, this is the before and this is the after you can actually use the dodge above method to fix this chain for situations that are not extreme and you can use other methods to fix double chain for situations that are extreme click on the right here if you want to learn how to retouch your image you just one click i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative